What's up everyone? In today's video, we're gonna be chatting about how to start making more money as a freelance photographer or cinematographer. This honestly applies to if you're just a freelancer in general, but I'm gonna be more specific with photographers and cinematographers. So before we start, if you're new to the channel, a little bit about me. Uh, I'm a full-time fashion photographer and cinematographer based in Southern California. A lot of the work that I do is based around coastal fashion photography and cinematography. So it's a lot of brand work, a lot of the commercial side of both of those. Where you're gonna start is you wanna start by finding your industry. What type of work you wanna do. So, I mean, there's a lot of different genres of photography and cinematography. Everything from fashion photography, to weddings, to automotive. Um, you could do hospitality work, you could do interior work. Um, the list goes on and on, but the point is that you wanna find the industry that you're most passionate about, and you kinda run with that from there. So once you find the industry that you enjoy the most, you want to go out and find a handful of photographers and cinematographers that do work in that industry. You kind of want to make a mood board of your favorite photos. Kind of a more in-depth example of something that I've done personally is I found four or five photographers I really liked and I took about, you know, three or four photos from each photographer and made an in-depth mood board of what my goals were for the next year or so. And then after I made that mood board, I went out and took photos that were kind of in that style. You obviously you don't want to copy another photographer, but you can take, you know, inspo from them and make it your own photo. So I'll show a photo example right here of something that I really liked from this photographer. Her name is Brady Mack. Uh, you might be f familiar with her work if you're in the fashion photography world. But I really like this idea of a clothes hanger type of shot. I thought it was really cool. You know, she does moderately similar work to me where it's, you know, very fashion based and very coastal based. So I went out with one of my friends and we recreated a similar type of look, but in kind of a different setting and made it our own. So this is one example of how you can go about mood boarding different photos and then, you know, making it your own. And my last tip for, you know, starting to make more money uh, as a freelancer is go make mock sets. So kind of what that means is, for example, if you're having a hard time kind of getting work for a client, let's say you want to work for Ford, for example, but Ford doesn't want to hire you. So one thing you could do is if you have, you know, a car in the area, go out and take some photos of it and make a collection of that shoot and then put it on your website. And you know, you could send it to Ford if you want, and maybe Ford doesn't hire you, but maybe another car company sees it, and then they go out and hire you. And you know, maybe you didn't get that Ford client, but you ended up getting a car client in general. And by making more and more of those mock sets, you can start building a better portfolio, and then start shooting with more of the brands that um, you know, you're aiming to shoot with. And my last tip, which kind of, you know, ties it all together and it's moderately obvious is you want to make a website besides social media, which is a great platform to almost have like a secondary portfolio. You want to have a website that really, you know, shows in depth, like your favorite photos that you've taken or the main clients that you've worked with. Showing that client list like on your portfolio or on your website uh, really kind of like expresses to the client like what type of work you've done and what type of you know vibe you're even showing and even if you're you know your type of work like aligns with the client's vision so you know if you want to start shooting more fashion stuff then go out and take more photos you know in your friends and fashion-esque type of clothes and then post it on your website and you just keep you know, doing that process until you start to get you know, reputable brands that you shoot with and yeah, just kind of go from there and then start making more money. Hopefully that was uh, moderately helpful. It's kind of just a quick video I wanted to make, but 
yeah, if you have any more questions about, you know, the freelance industry and how to make more money, um, just leave them in the comments below or feel free to email me. You know, I'm, I'm pretty uh, easily easy to contact. And then finally, um, if you guys would like to and you want to see more of these videos, it'd be great if you could, you know, leave a like and then also subscribe as well. So I can kind of figure out what stuff you guys do and don't like. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.